Hi guys, it's Alicia Dijong here and um, I'm from AliciaDijong.com and in this short video I want to quickly show you how it is that you can spy on ads in your newsfeed. So do you ever wonder like when you're doing your ad targeting, how is it that ad is in my newsfeed and targeting me and getting in front of the right audience? Okay, especially if it's relevant to you, it's a really good thing to reverse engineer what ads are doing. So this is a really easy way that you can do it. So I'm here in my newsfeed and I'm just going to scroll through looking for some ads looking for some ads it's got to be some ads here somewhere let me refresh there's got to be an ad for my newsfeed okay here we go Okay, hold on a second, there will be an ad. I'm looking for a sponsored post. Uh, my apologies here, I had heaps of ads here just one second ago, maybe because I've already looked at them. Uh, okay, there's gotta be an ad. Okay, so here's an ad. I've never heard of these people, Natasha and Rich Hazlett. When it comes to attracting more customers, a lot of business owners mess things up by leading with all the technical features of their company's product, blah, blah, blah. So if we click on this little arrow just here, and you can hide the ad if, you're, if it's really completely irrelevant. Uh, why am I seeing this? Is what you wanna click on. So one reason you're seeing this ad is that Natasha and Rich want to reach people interested in Danny Johnson based on activities such as liking pages or clicking ads. They're also targeting people between the ages of 34 and 60 who live or recently live in Australia. Okay, so this is how you can uh, pick, find an ad and you can find out how it is that people are targeting you in their news feed. Uh, there might be another one or there should be another ad and we have lots of ads Okay, so that's going to give you an idea anyway, so you can then go okay. Well, that's how that's in my news feed Yeah, okay. I know I have liked Danny Johnson's page um, And a few of her ads that have appeared. So yes, uh, I think they're targeting me correctly That ad is relevant to me. The other thing is you want to make your ad look um Organic, neutral, natural. Organic is probably the best term for it in your newsfeed. Okay, so this is organic. Um, organic. You don't want things to stick out. So I'll just keep going through here just for another couple of seconds. I might find something that's just completely irrelevant. So, okay, look at this. Russell Bronson, Click Funnels. Why is he targeting me? He's targeting me because he wants to reach people interested in Tony Robbins and people who are 18 and older and live in Australia. So there you go, that's interesting. Not, I thought he may have been targeting me due to retargeting Pixel. And you can tell in here when people are um, also retargeting you for their retargeting Pixel. You can see that in the ad. Um, I don't think it's gonna, Gonna have too many more ads at the moment. Anyway, you've got the idea. I want to keep this video really short and to the point, but that is how that you can go through and you can find, uh, you can see one of all, first of all, two things you need to remember. One is your ad needs to look organic in the newsfeed for someone to click on it, but it does need to have something that's gonna make people thumb stop. And the second thing is just reverse engineer what the ads are doing in your newsfeed and see why it is that these people are targeting you and what their interests are that they're using to get into your newsfeed. Okay, I hope this helps. If you did get some value, please share, please drop a comment below. Totally appreciate it. See ya.